This is the Sagrada Familia, which means sacred family, which is founded in Barcelona, Spain. Antoni Gaudí was the architect of this massive church, and when it's finished, it will have taken 133 years to complete. Ooh, I love that rose window. I wonder how long it took him to make that. Hmm. What's up everybody, it's Missy Barra, and today we're going to do the color wheel, but we're gonna do it like a rose window from Sagrada Familia from Barcelona, where I'm gonna visit soon. So, that's coming up soon. Let's go ahead and make a square, and it's going to go up, like you're making a paper airplane maybe, and you're gonna just press down, and then you're going to cut your, this off. So I'm gonna fold this so I don't cut off too much. And it's okay, don't worry. It'll look fine. We're really gonna just do a beautiful flower made with rainbow colors. All right, so we're going to start by drawing our beautiful flower with a nice marker. And we're going to put a circle in the middle. But first I'm gonna put a dot in the middle so I know where to go around the circle. Okay, so this circle is gonna go around. And I always start from the other side when I'm doing circles to make sure I can see. Otherwise, I won't see it. There. Now I'm going to put a petal here, here, and then two over here. All right, because I want six. So this is gonna be one, two, up and down. It's like a propeller on an airplane, right? Or a bee, or I don't know. And then I have two going here. One, two. And then the other side, kind of like bunny ears. One ear and the other bunny ear. Oh, but then it's a flower. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna mark where my colors go because sometimes I get mixed up. So I'm gonna put yellow will go on that petal. And these are like the, you know, the little seeds in the center of the flower, like a sunflower maybe. Okay, so the next one's going to be green over here. And then I'm gonna put blue. This way I know what I'm going to make because it gets confusing. I get confused anyway. Maybe you're perfectly fine, but this is helping me a lot. So I'm going to put orange here and good. So I know these are the colors I'm going to make here with my primary colors. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna have two brushes. One's gonna be for my cool colors and one's gonna be for my warm colors because you know, you don't wanna mix them up. So I'm gonna start with yellow, and my yellow is gonna go up at the top here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there. And just so it stays nice and yellow, I'm just gonna keep like that. And then I'm going to go to blue and red. So you can see what the beautiful colors are of the color wheel, you know? Then I have blue, so blue's gonna go here. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I love this brush, it's like pointy. Okay, and then I'm gonna get red and I'm gonna get a more pinkish red so that when I mix it, it will make a beautiful purple because you know where I'm going with this, right? We're gonna mix colors. So this is my red, just mix a little bit more and put that in there. It went more, so it won't look pink pink. But when you're using printer's ink, it usually has to be more pink. Yeah. All right, so then I'm going to mix colors. And this is where it gets a little bit, you know, you gotta test it out. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna make is a warm color. Let's do yellow again. So I'm gonna take some yellow and I'm gonna put it right here but I'm going to make orange, so I'm gonna go and get some of this red and put it right on top, but not too much. Cause I, oh, perfect, because I wanna make orange, yay! Okay, so a lot of yellow, a little bit of red. Otherwise, it's just gonna turn red, trust me. Okay, then once again, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna start with yellow. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit of blue because these two colors make green all right so i'm going to get my cool color brush and i'm just going to get a little bit of blue and add it in very carefully because you don't want to overpower the yellow yellow is very shy okay and i 
Maybe green. Maybe, maybe can I add a little bit more blue? Gotta be careful. Oops, that might be too much. Nope, it's good. And if it is too much, you can always go back and add more yellow. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and, not yellow this time, <laughs> I'm gonna put blue first, okay? So I'm gonna get my beautiful pointy um, paintbrush and I'm gonna add blue first. Nice cool color. Red is our most powerful paint color and it's the first one to reach our eyes. Anytime you see something, you see red first. I don't know why, just science. So I'm gonna add the red little by little to the blue to make purple. And it's very careful mixing. And once again, if it's too red, add more blue and so on. It's like, um, you know, when you make cookies, it's too much sugar, just add more flour and make more. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more blue and a little red. There, let's make it more purple, yes. Let's see. That's all, oh, that's it, that's it. That's what I wanted. All right, wonderful. Okay, so I hope you had fun making your color wheel and it's beautiful rose window. If you want to, I'll show you at the end what else I do with it. And so I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. As you can see, I put up my rose window, cut it out first and then hung it in my window window. So it's beautiful with this light shining through. I love it. I'll see you next time and I hope you have fun making your rose window. Bye!